Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Dick Fast here. Today, we're making progress on the 455 big block swap, baby. The 455 big block right there. Blue glove right there on it. Frick. Partially naked. And I was just working on mocking everything up onto our 455. So yeah, obviously I started digging into the old 307 here, grabbing the goodies we need to offer. So just got the raw geodder draining right there in place. Minimal mess. So we to get this big toad under there. And then I got that little bucket to catch the other jets. Fill up, yeah, get the hell out of here. So yeah, minimal mess with that coolant draining there. Well, there's me walking away with the juice pump. Then I grabbed the old steering assistant out of it. Then I had to take the fridge maker out because I'm trying to refrigerate my goodies. Before I pulled anything out, I just labeled all these wires, blue tape, labeled up the hoses, everything like that. That way there's no confusion. Put it back together nice and quick, fast. So yeah, the front of her here is uh, she's stripped down to her bare minimums undergarments exposed clearly here now that we've got our accessory drive mocked up here we knew we were going to have to make a few just teensy modificators to it so uh let me walk you through what we need here the ac bracket is just one inch shy there because of the one inch deck height difference on the 455 so we're going to need to build out some brackets here to get that all situated and then around top the stud for the head bolt it's on the wrong side here so we're gonna need to swap out this one head bolt as well as modificate this bracket so we can get our valve cover on and off without a bunch of hassle every damn time and then for our alternator and our power steering it's actually really simple they just hook up they require an inch and a half spacer between here and believe me i talked to guys online i got a different answer at every guy needs a one inch spacer needs a inch and a quarter spacer listen lads that's an inch and a half spacer okay so i was just using some scraps around to uh mock up these tabs i'm going to make and then i'll cut those out of some steel probably out of these old 455 brackets because it's made out of the same metal yeah we've got our edelbrock valve covers out of the box sitting on there to see how they look she's coming along so i'm going to Get these parts mocked up. I'm going to tear this all back apart, beautify it so it's beautiful and pretty, just like me. And then put this all back together, and she's going to be ready to slam in. If you're new to the channel, you're just tuning into the build. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, comment if you friggin' want to correct me on something, and subscribe to the channel for more. We're going to keep these videos coming. Made these front brackets here to extend that. And I made a little side bracket over here to bring this around the valve cover. I had to switch this head bolt with the one on the other side to get that stud. And then there's a small spacer there that I took from the 307. But now we can get our valve cover on and off as we see fit. And then I'm thinking I was going to run a bracket from here down to share this water snorter here. It used to run this, which went back to a head bolt on the stock manifold, the 307. No longer an option with our air gap RPM. But I've seen this bracket. And I just thought, I almost see the exact bracket that we need in that piece. I mean, look. Sits in there beautifully almost perfect like so hack this up and see what we can get so lordy lordy behold there was a bracket hiding in that other bracket after all so we just hacked it out of there and that's where it's going to be and i don't know whether it was the five cans of brake clean i huffed over this project or the canadian cigarettes i shouldn't have been smoking but i forgot to tell you i had to switch this here water pump with the long snout unit off the 307 that bad dog right there i've been uh, i got her all cleaned up ready to go so yeah now that i got the saw mocked up 
I'm just going to pull this all apart. I'll clean everything. I'll paint these brackets I made. I got some fresh hardware to go. And then we will swap that water pump. I'll slam everything back together. But while I'm doing that, I'll have to install the manifold. Just put the gaskets in, bolt her down. You can see I, uh, I did give that oil tube there a Shih Tzu massage. So we got the clearance we need. We're able to get that manifold brought to the front words, to where it needed to be. So that's where it is now. So yeah, coming right along. Coming along and you've been following the build, you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is this guy doing playing with his accessory drive before he replaces the bolts and those rocker arms that he friggin' broke last time? Doesn't even have his rocker arms swinging and dinging. Here he is friggin' putting his accessory drive on. Well, yeah, I had to wait for the parts, you know, so now that they're here, I was playing with that while I was waiting for the parts, and now the stuff's back, we're going to get it slammed on. All right, big shout out to Supercars Unlimited. These boys have been specializing in nothing but Oldsmobile since 1988, coming in clutch, hooking up the new rocker bolts right there for your boy. Hell yeah. Need your Oldsmobile, your Cutlass, your 442 parts? Hit them up. Supercars Unlimited. These boys got it all right there. Coming in clutch. Just installing these new rocker arm bolts here from the folks over at Supercars Unlimited. But I left this last one out so I can show you a hidden trick. Take your little assembly lube right there. You know that stuff you're using for everything now. And just put a little dab right there with the back of the head of your new freaking bolt's gonna ride and that way she's not gonna go up on you when you're trying to torque her down so we got no problem here to go ahead and slam our breather tubes on here for good the intake manifold yeah i swapped out that water pump for the one off the 307 one of those gaskets out of the kit worked just dandy no problems there at all so uh Let's slam this intake on. Before I put the new bolts into those rocker doodles that we got from Supercars Unlimited, I did pull each rod back out and I popped the lifters up and I gave him a fat daub of this here cam guard my father-in-law had suggested. And then I just greased a whole bunch of it onto the camshaft there too. So when we break this sucker in, there should be no issues at all. I hate issues. My whole life I had run into nothing but issues. So I ain't trying to have more. All right, we got our Fell Pro gasket kit here. Part number's in the description. Now, when you're gonna seal this sucker down, you're gonna wanna use a silicone and get it real nice and tight into these corners. And we're gonna do around our water ports. We're also gonna do around this crossover breather because we're not gonna use that. We just want some extra sealation protection. So if you're gonna do this, do it right, okay? Use the right stuff. You know you got the right stuff and every time somebody asks you to say how are you going to get that done you say don't worry about it me i got the right stuff me carry on Woo that's how you grease the line Well, we got it greased up just right with that there sticky sauce in our innermost regions right where we need her. So, slam the rubbers on. You want to make sure you get these popped down in those corners where they want to be. And these just fit like a dream, okay? No questions there. Come on, you little sucker boy. Come on, sucker boy. There she goes. You don't want to keep this uh, skim here about as skinny as Kimmy Gibbler. Giblets. Just a little skimmy Gibbler on there. Take this tit off. The titillator is coming off here, folks. Who we'll just finger blast these? All right, so you can see we got her sauced up. A little skim around each water port. Tiny little bead across there. Skim around the water port. Dab in the corners there. 
So, uh, yeah, we're ready to do the king's drop here and slam the crown and jewel on her. You know, this thing kind of reminds me of one of those hats with the two beers and the drinking straws. Well, let's slam the old crown of jewel on top of this thing. Oh, I've been waiting a while for this, ladies and lads. That's what we call the perfect draw, right there. Hey yo, in only one year, considered as a veteran. Top of the line, the whip look like tropical lime. Okay. Off the boat, cousin Glock by the spine. Do a murder 7.30, then they flying at nine. Shit, hands spring, half twisted to the Buick. You say you're doing shit, but never do it. I say I'm doing shit, and then I do it. Never going back to work and labor. Fuck that, your little chain, you better tuck that. Uh. Vultures flying over the carcass, bitches blowing on my dick like a cartridge. Throw some grass up, aim a little east of the target. My brain was sculpted at Harvard. Never mention all the crime I've been a part of. Never served like Eva and Lendl up in a rental. The team's been assembled. They receiving help benefits and dental. The land was laced with fennel. Left hand is shifting, right foot touch the pedal. From now on, I'm just a symbol. Hundred dollar truck smoke out. Golly, folks, she's uh, she's raining friggin' shits and shens out there in the friggin' stovepipe, but uh, yeah, ladies and lads, we got this torque box delegated. So we got all the accessories worked out, all of our brackets made, painted up, installed with the new hardware. Do got to get a new bolt here for the spacer, but we'll delegate that shortly. See, I got a few protrusions out here for the uh, electrotrona words. And, uh, yeah, that's about as far as we need to bring it right there. Yeah, I'll probably still pop these manifolds off because, uh, I'm probably not going to be running them in the car anyways. I just mostly had this one on so I could delegate this here alternator bracket. But, yeah, I'm getting so excited about this. Can you tell? Sheesh. I got the big red, uh, Clifford the Crane dog out. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna use that to pluck this sucker up and slam her in that car. So next time you see this, she may be mid-air, like an acrobat, or one of them pole women. I've already been digging into the car over here, crawled underneath and pulled 90% of the boltation out that I need. I just got a few bolts holding her back to the trains there and the motor mounts. So I get my brother to come over and he'll help me get that sucker out of the hole there. I think I will actually just nose the car a little bit out into the driveway to get this done. That's kind of why I left the bolts that I have left in there in there. Because uh might make it a little easier for us. Some more room. The ground here is really unlevel and rough. And, uh, you know, I like to make things easy on myself. Oh, yeah. Except that lower pulley doesn't want to come off. So we'll have to pop that sucker off once we yank the engine there. Slam her onto this bad dog, but that's no big deal, is it? Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. If you got any comments there, you can leave them down in the comments there if that makes any sense to you. If you're a thinking man, you could probably put that together. But yeah, anyway, till next time, cheers, folks.